Hi everybody and welcome back to part 5 of Triumph of the Will. In this episode, we're going to see the meeting of the Hitler Jugend or Hitler's Youth Group. As always, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and share with at least one friend to help keep this channel growing and successful. And now, we'll get started with Reich Jugendfuhrer Balder von Skierig. Let's check it out. So obviously the Hitler Youth was a youth movement in Nazi Germany that was mandatory for all full-blooded German citizens. It was originally formed on July the 4th, 1926, and became a paramilitary organization for children in the Reich between the ages of 14 and 18. Boys as young as 10 also had their own separate organization to feed them into the Hitler Jugend called the German Youngsters in the Hitler Youth. Balder von Skierig was the Reich's Hitler Jugend Führer from 1931 until 1940. Under his power and control, the Hitler Jugend became Hitler's method for winning the hearts and minds of the youth within the German Empire. This gave him a direct control over the German youth's hearts and minds and allowed him to really solidify his position into the future. What's really extraordinary about this is the degree to which children are fully incorporated into the political events of the party congress. If we look at the way that most youth are treated today when it comes to politics, they're separated and discounted and not given very much importance. Hitler, of course, is going to promote them to this position of you are the future and you are really critically important to the Reich, which makes them feel very individually and even as a group important to the work that's being done in Germany and motivates them to really fall in line behind the Fuhrer Prinzip. The second important point about von Skierig's introduction here is that he's continuing to lay the importance of a classless youth at the feet of Hitler's accomplishments because of course being German is enough. Once you're in the club there's no further division that is necessary in order to facilitate the thousand year empire that Hitler intends to build. Now, die höchste Selbstlosigkeit dieser Nation voranleben, will auch diese Jugend selbstlos sein, weil sie die Treue für uns verkörpern. Darum wollen auch wir treu sein. Adolf Hitler, der Führer der deutschen Jugend, hat das Wort. <lacht> Jugend. Nach einem Jahr kann ich euch hier wieder begrüßen. Ihr seid heute hier in dieser Muschel nur ein Ausschnitt dessen, was außer ihr über ganz Deutschland steht. Und wir möchten nun 
dass ihr, deutsche Jungs und deutsche Mädchen, in euch all das aufnehmt, was wir der eins und von Deutschland hoffen. Wir wollen ein Volk sein. Und ihr, meine Jugend, sollt dieses Volk nun werden. Wir wollen eins keine Klassen und Stände mehr sehen. Und ihr dürft sie in euch schon nicht mehr groß werden lassen. Wir wollen eins ein Reich sehen. Und ihr müsst euch schon dafür erziehen. Wir wollen, dass dieses Volk eins gehorsam ist. Und ihr müsst euch in dem Gehorsam üben. Hitler here is emphasizing the quintessential Nazi value, which is obedience to authority, the Führer Prinzip. Fall in line, become unified as a German nation, and we will dominate this world, and we will create a home for all German people. Wir wollen, dass dieses Volk einst Fried lieben und aber auch tapfer ist. Und ihr müsst friedfertig sein. The thing that's very difficult for us to forget and to keep in perspective while we're watching this part of Hitler's speech is, it's only 1934. Hitler has only just become the Führer. He hasn't really done anything aggressive yet, at least when it comes to international politics. He hasn't remilitarized the Rhineland, that was in 1936. He hasn't participated in the Spanish Civil War, that was also 1936. He hasn't orchestrated the Anschluss, that was 1938. He hasn't invaded the Sudetenland, that was 1938 and 1939. He hasn't invaded Poland, that's 1939. And of course, the World War starts at the end of 1939. So up until this point, he's talking about creating a peace-loving people who is willing and able to suffer the problems of privation, of difficulty, and to be able to make it through to the other side. And a lot of people look at him and say, you know, he talks a big game, but he's just another politician. He's just trying to rally his people. The guy who believed that more than anybody else was Neville Chamberlain, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Other people, like Winston Churchill, already in 1935 and 36, started to scream for, at the top of their lungs that Hitler was dangerous, that he meant what he said when he talked about aggressive expansion of the German Empire. And what we today do today, and what we do, we will begin. Aber in euch wird Deutschland weiterleben. Und wenn von uns nichts mehr übrig sein wird, dann werdet ihr die Fahne, die wir einst aus dem Nichts hochgezogen haben, in euren Fäusten halten müssen. Und ich weiß, das kann nicht anders sein, denn ihr seid Fleisch von unserem Fleisch und Blut von unserem Blut und in eurem jungen Gehirn brennt derselbe Geist, der uns beherrscht. Ihr könnt nicht anders sein, als mit uns verbunden. Und wenn die großen Kolonnen unserer Bewegung heute siegen durch Deutschland marieren, dann weiß ich, ihr schließt euch den Kolonnen an. Und wir wissen, Applaus vor uns liegt Deutschland. 
Deutschland, in uns marschiert Deutschland und hinter uns kommt Deutschland. Wow. If you want to talk about a really powerful message for young people, one day we will be dead, but you will live on. You are the future, and it is really, really important that you do your best to carry on the good work that we lifted out of nothing. That's an incredibly powerful message, and he leaves it with this great ovation to the German state. Before us lies Germany. In us, Germany burns. And behind us, Germany falls follows. This unity between the Fuhrer and the youth really does help to solidify his power and it's one of the reasons why Hitler is such a powerful leader. And of course part five is going to end with, you guessed it, another parade. Episode 6, we're going to see the Wehrmacht technology being put on display as well as the parade to the Cathedral of Light. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please stay tuned for part 6. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to help support it and keep me motivated to finish this project. Leave a comment down below and share with at least one friend. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this entire project. I'm really overwhelmed by the response that it's getting. Thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed, and I will see you in the next one.